Which Tree Wild Hunt is an action RPG developed by the CD Projekt Red and released in 2015. Set in a richly detailed fantasy world inspired by Slavic mythology, you control Geralt of Ravia, a monster hunter on the Witcher. The game features an expansive open world, intricate storytelling and deep character development. Geralt's quest involves finding his adopted daughter Siri, while contending with political intrigue and a spectral skulled wild hunt. Sometimes story can go too slow and feel a little bit of a drag. The game has and is praised by immersive world, complex characters and meaningful choices that impact the many small and large stories outcomes. Witcher 3's gameplay has aged and stands now quite mediocre RPG and semi-open world, partly even for its time. In the Witcher 3 gameplay mechanism include exploration, combat and decision making. You explore an open world filled with quests, NPCs and diverse environments. Controls are intuitive on controller but honestly speaking keyboard and mouse feel wonky. The game offers multiple difficulty levels from just the story for those wanting to relax the experience to death march for hardcore challenge. I played my latest time with this game on just the story as I played the game on the first person mode. This takes a lot of your vision and makes combat automatically much harder. These settings affect the enemy's strength, your health regeneration and the complexity of combat. Wild Hunt offers an expansive and richly detailed open world for you to explore. Divided into several large interconnected regions, each area represents its own unique environment and challenges. White Orchard serves as an introduction area providing you with smaller, more contained environment that acts as a tutorial for the game's mechanisms and systems. Moving into Velen slash No Man's Land, you encounter a war-torn region characterized by sprawling swamps, dense forests and scattered villages. The landscape reflects the ravages of conflict with abundant ruins and military encampment dotting the countryside. Novigrad, one of the largest cities in the game, offers a bustling urban environment filled with winding streets, bustling marketplaces and diverse cast of characters. Skellig Isles, located off the coast of the mainland, are a group of rugged islands characterized by rocky cliffs, stormy seas and Norse-inspired culture. Each region is filled with points of interest, including abundant ruins, monster nests, bandit camps and hidden treasure caches. Exploration is rewarded with experience points, allowable loot and new quests, encouraging you to venture off the beaten path and discover everything on the world of the Witcher 3 has to offer. Combat in Witcher 3 is dynamic and it allows blend of melee attacks, Witcher magic called science and strategy. Geralt wields two main swords, steel for humans and silver for monsters. You can perform light and heavy attacks, block, parry and dodge. Timing and positioning is crucial, especially against tougher force. Sword play forms the backbone of the combat, but success often depends on effective use of Geralt's additional abilities. Geralt can use five different signs, each with unique e e effects. Fuck. <coughs> Geralt can use five different signs, each with unique effects. Art is a telekinetic blast that can stagger enemies and destroy obstacles, while Igni is a fire attack that can ignite force. Urden may create a magical trap that slows enemies, reveals invisible ones, and Gwen is a protective shield that absorbs damage. Oxy is a mind control spell that can charm enemies or influence conversations. These magical abilities add depth to the combat, offering various tactical options while at time being necessary. 
Rare difficulties alchemy plays a significant role in combat, allowing you to craft potions, bombs and oils using gathered ingredients. Potions provide buffs and heals, bombs can damage and debilitate debilitate groups of enemies and oils enhance sword damage against specific enemy types. Preparation before battles is essential, especially on higher difficulties. Choosing the right equipment, proving the effective potions, applying the correct oils, and using bomb stretch skill can turn the tide of the fight. As Geralt levels up, you can allocate points into various skill trees, enhance, enhancing combat, science, alchemy, and general abilities. This allows for some customization of your playstyle. Combat actions like casting, science, and dodging consume stamina, while adrenaline points build up during combat and can enhance attacks or can be used as special attacks. Learning enemy weaknesses and attack patterns is a key to success on harder difficulties, making the Witcher 3 combat system multifaceted and encouraging you to use a variety of techniques and adapt to different challenges throughout the game. Witcher 3 Wild Hunt features extensive side content that significantly enhances the overall gameplay experience. Side quests often have intricate storylines and can be engaging as the main quest, ranging from helping villagers to beat personal issues and unraveling complex narratives involving political intrigue and romance. Witcher contracts allow Geralt to hunt various monsters for reward, requiring investigation and strategic combat. Treasure hunting involves finding hidden treasures throughout the world, often leading to valuable gear and lore. Additionally, there are activities like Gwent, a strategy card game with its own quests and tournaments, and exploring points of interest such as hidden caves, abandoned sites and enemy strongholds, all of which add to the depth and riches of the game's world. Witcher 3 still looks quite stunning to date and is acclaimed by its stunning visuals, distinctive art style and immersive audio. The game's visuals and characterized uh, are highly detailed realistic style that brings its expansive fantasy to world of life. Landscapes range from lush forests and snowy mountains to war torn and pristine cities, each rendered with met meticulous attention and de detail the atmospheric lightning and enhances the immersion. The art style draws heavily on Slavic mythology and medieval European influences, creating a world that feels both fantastical but grounded. Character designs are diverse and lifelike, with intricate costumes and facial animations that convey emotion effectively, though have aged slightly. The game's monsters are imaginatively designed, blending mythical elements with touch of horror to make the encounters memorable and visually striking. Audio in The Witcher 3 is equally impressive, featuring evocative musical score composed by Markin Psyrkovi and Mikolai Stroinski. The soundtracks combine traditional folk instruments with orchestral arrangements, perfectly capturing the game's action scenes and leisure scenes. Voice acting is very impressive with Neon's performance that bring characters to life and enhance the storytelling. Witcher 3 is known for its substantial length, with the main story taking around 50 hours to complete, including side quests, exploration and abdominal content like the expansions Heart of Stone and Blood and Wine. The game can extend over 100 hours of gameplay. If you don't want to hear the story, leave now. Uh, five second countdown. Five, four, three, two, one.
The Witcher 3 Wild Hunts follows the Geralt of Rivia, a professional monster hunter like I mentioned already. Set in a richly detailed fantasy world plagued by war, the narrative centers around Geralt's quest to find his adopted daughter Siri. Siri is a powerful individual with elder blood, granting her the ability to manipulate time and space. She is being pursued by Wild Hunt, a group of spectral warriors intent to capturing her for her abilities. The game's story is divided into several main arcs. Initially, Geralt searches for clues about Siri's whereabouts, leading him to various regions, including Velen, Novigrad, and Skellig. In Velen, he confronts Bloody Baron, whose personal tragedy intersects with the Siri's trail. In Novigrad, Geralt navigates the city, criminal underworld, and allies with old friends like Tris Marigold, uncovering more information about Ciri's journey. In Skellige, Geralt learns of Ciri's connection to the island's ruling clans and faces the ancient prophecies tied to her destiny. As Geralt gathers allies and pieces together of Ciri's path, the threat of Wild Hunt looms larger. Eventually, Geralt reunites with Ciri and they prepare to confront the Wild Hunt. The finally, the, the Witcher stronghold Kair Morhen is where Geralt, and Ciri and their allies make their desperate stand. The story culminates with battle against the Wild Hunt's leader Eredin and decision that determines the fate of Ciri and the world. The narrative of Witcher 3 is renowned by many for its depth and complexity, feathering rich character development, moral choice and branching storylines. Your decisions throughout the game change significantly influence the outcome, resulting in multiple possible endings that reflect the consequences of Geralt's actions and your choices. Overall, Witcher 3 is a great game. Uh, uh, up to this date, but there's just it has aged slightly.